Well, hi guys. It is Robo Cooney, and we are here doing a flight from Halifax to JFK in real time in coach. Um, I am giving away a twenty dollars Steam gift card today. I'm also still in meetings for work, so uh, I might not be talking as much. Um, at least not on uh, here or Discord as well. So um, let's start this flight out, and then we'll yeah.
We are on this flight to Halifax. Um, it keeps pausing because it does that when I switch screens, and I'm just switching screens for a moment. Um, so I'm back on. We're doing our flight to I hope you Halifax. Chinese for everyone. Thanks for following. Anywho, thanks. Um, from I do have a giveaway going. Elements. It's on my Twitter, twitter.com/slash something. Uh, Something or other. Twitter.com slash RoboClinic. Sorry, I'm distracted because I am also working at the same time. So we're going to do this flight and uh, see how it goes. Uh, let me know if you can't hear the audio. The mic off that you see up in the corner is for my Discord. Um, I'm on Push to Talk with them. So yeah, if you also want to join the Discord, it is in my uh, profile on a various methods of stuff and things you should get this flight started i not talk much while i'm doing this i don't know what this button is here is that the button for summoning the flight attendant because i can't see where it does anything who's my passenger friend some asian woman watching that thing is there a seatbelt on I doubt it is. I should put mine on. Anyway, I flew to Halifax uh, yesterday evening. Uh, hello, ladies and gentlemen. At this time, the forward entry door is closed. All large electronic devices should now be shut off and stowed, and all small portable electronic devices must be set to airplane mode. Make sure your feedbacks and tray cables are in their place. You do know that means I can raid your trash now. Thanks for following Timmy Sweeps. From airplane mode. Oh, oh, airplane mode. There you go. Airplane mode. Back. Battery's dying. Oh god, no. Damn it. Crap. Okay, I might have to restart. There's a bug where if you open up the top of this thing, then you can't get it closed again. And it's really annoying. I can't. Uh, make that disappear so uh, or I can just spend the entire flight with a fucked up phone but I really wanted to listen to this podcast we remind you that this is a non-smoking flight smoking is prohibited on the entire fine fine okay whatever no no I, I would just restart my phone if I had a phone but the only way to restart this phone is to restart the game, and I don't feel like restarting the game. So, fine, we'll just charge it. I hope they fix that bug eventually. I'm gonna grab my headphones. Put that away. And take this and charge it. And take that and connect my headphones. Ladies and gentlemen, please direct your right. attention to the feedback monitors ahead of you for a video demonstrating We're the moving. Of this aircraft. We recognize some of you may be frequent travelers, but this information is important. I'm a frequent traveler. At this time. Welcome aboard. We'd like to thank you for flying Pan Atlantica. We know you have many other choices, from regional carriers to national and international airlines. But you chose us, and that means a lot. Thank you so much. Now, before we take off, please pay attention to the following safety video. If you haven't done so already, please fasten your seatbelt. In order to accomplish this, Simply follow these simple steps. First, grasp the flat metal end of the seatbelt in your right hand. You can easily identify this part of the seatbelt by the square hole on one end. Next, with your left hand, pick up the buckle and then slowly and steadily move the metal end towards the buckle, keeping both ends perfectly aligned. Carefully, insert the metal end into the buckle until you hear it click. To tighten the strap, Find the end of the strap and pull. Careful not to pull too tight, or you'll have to loosen it once more. 
To release your seatbelt in the event you need to leave your seat, find the top of the buckle. Once you've found the top of the buckle, lift it up and it will release. On an E3 2300. Now Does that mean to that it's your like an Airbus? Thing. Whether it's sipping wine in Paris or whale watching in Nova Scotia. Please make sure your seat is all the way up, all electronic devices are shut off and put away, and your tray table is stowed. Carry on luggage should be placed all the way under the seat in front of you or in the overhead bin. Ugh, I'm upset that I can't. My phone is Please stuck in this state. Devices to airplane yeah. mode now. At least Please I could put it. At least I put it in so airplane mode. But oh my god! Catastrophic navigation so disaster. annoying. I forgot that you can't click up here because then the overlay appears, and now you can't do anything. We prohibit smoking on the airplane do at any time. Tampering, anything. disabling, or destroying. I don't want to listen to this podcast. May result in a fine. Fine. I guess my next flight I'll have to remember to not to out and that. review the safety card located in the seat back pocket in front of you. Note the fine craftsmanship, colorful, clear illustrations, and sturdy laminations. Our safety cards are built to last. Use the safety card to find the plane's exits marked by the large arrows and the word exit. Exits in the front and rear of the plane. In the event of an evacuation from the cabin, follow the emergency lights to an exit. We ask that you leave all carry-on items behind. I think my neighbor would get mad if I turn on her air. No, she doesn't seem to even notice that I turned on her air. I'm gonna turn on her lights too. With gorgeous pictures of hotels, sponsored reviews, you notice that? And restaurants, as well as maps of every major airport and fun games to play, like Sudoku. I'm gonna leave her air on though. I'm just mean like that. Should the airplane cabin lose pressure, do not panic. Oxygen masks will drop automatically. When they do, again, do not panic. The yellow cup fits over your nose and mouth, and the elastic band fits around the back of your head. Normal breathing will start the flow of oxygen. Remember, put your own mask on first before helping others. We promise it's the right thing to do. Life vests can be found next to, over, or underneath your seat, or in some cases, behind your seat. It depends on the model of the plane you're flying in. Once you are safely outside the airplane, pull on the tab to inflate your vest, or inflate manually using the red tube. There is no need to do both. can also be used as a flotation device. How clever! Your cabin crew will now be coming around to do a final cabin check. Everyone here at Pan Atlantica is proud to be part of making your flight today a wonderful experience. If there's anything at all our cabin crew can do to make your flight more enjoyable, please don't hesitate to ask using the call button. We hope you have an enjoyable, entertaining, relaxing, or productive flight. We here at Pan Atlantica salute you. Because flying people places is what we do. Well, hooray. Um, guys. Hi, ladies and gentlemen. Ha! What? On behalf what? of myself and the flight crew, it's oh. a distinct pleasure to welcome you on board Flight 709 with non-stop service to New York. Look at my pants. They're just brown. I think I have this shirt. No, I don't have a brown shirt. Well, I, I do have a brown shirt, but it says cheese knob on it. We'll be traveling at about 370 miles per hour. I'll be back in touch if we've got any other updates for you on route. For now, sit back. Relax, and enjoy the flight. Crap. There were games on my phone, too. God damn it. There's games here, but I see, I want to see the on the flight trivia game. I could play Solitaire, and I could play Blackjack, but where do I want to do that? What's the foods? Do we want to watch the Wabbit who came to supper? Uh, no! Ahead of us on the runway right now. We should be off the ground in a couple of minutes. We want to listen to Air Atlantica.
though, these are like copyrighted movies, so I don't know if I can even play them while I'm on the stream. Yet. I kind of do want to restart just because, like, but this has happened to me on a real flight. I had my phone crash on me during a, a four hour flight, and like within in the first 20 minutes to where I wasn't able to even use it. So, see, I think my point is. Más uno, no es el plástico. Oh, sí, ahí déjalos, ahí déjalos. So, yeah, no. Uh, I would have to restart. I don't know. Is anyone watching? If anyone's watching, do you think I should restart so I can get uh, coverage of my phone? We're only a couple minutes and we're just sitting on the ground. Also, the problem is, is that this is the only way to end the game, and there's no ability to do that from there. So, um, yeah, you know what? I'm going to restart it. Let me uh, put you guys on pause, and I will figure out the uh, restart in a moment here. We're back in, ready for a restart again uh, to get into this thing. This that, that bug is so annoying. I have to be really careful when I put my phone on airplane mode not to hit that uh, thing up there. Anyway, um, we're also doing a $20 Steam giveaway. Uh, so once every hour or so, look for a new Cooney code on the screen. And what are the Cooney codes? They will show up in that lower right. There it is. Uh, I'll run that for a few minutes, and uh, you can input that into the entry, and that'll give you, I think, an additional 20 entries. Uh, that Cooney code's going to change every half hour, so go ahead and uh, input that in. If you're following me on my Discord, you actually get an additional Cooney code that I only give to my Discord, uh, to my followers on, and people who are on Discord. So. Um, yeah. Anyway, let's get back into this again. Hello, passengers. We now invite our final flight. It's so annoying. I didn't get that thing. Pricing. Now I get to go through all that again, which is fine. Um, I'm going to prep again with my bag. I need that because the phone's probably dead. I'll need my headphones. Put this away. Put it away. And I'm going to put on my seatbelt. Yes, I put on my seatbelt. You dead eyed woman. I'm just going to charge this preemptively because I know it's going to be dead. And I'm not going to put on my headphones just yet. Or maybe I will. No, I'm not just yet. Because um, I'm going to hook that up to my phone. Settings. Airplane mode. Turn on Bluetooth. Make that go away. Go back. See how careful I am now? Oh, God. It's just... Noise balls. I am gonna just start one of these podcasts because one of these is actually pretty cool. Uh, 
Um, I think this one. Put that in there. Back to Eggplant, the secret lives of games. We are all game developers, and we have candid conversations with other game creators that dive deep into the art, craft, and process of making games. I'm Nick Sutner. I'm here with Andy Nealon. Hello. Zach Edge. Glad to be aboard. <laughs> Doug Wilson. Hello, everybody. And special guest, Hosni Algi. Hello, Hosni. Hey, thanks for having me. Yeah, thanks so much for joining us. Uh, we're going to talk all about your new game, Airplane Mode, today, um, which you've all been having a good time aboard, as Zach said. Uh, and it's, uh, yeah, something really different and special. Um, and we got a bunch of questions for you and a couple from our listeners. Uh, so thanks for hanging out with us. Um, and I have a little bio for you here. Uh, please correct me if these things are not correct. But you are a graphic designer turned game developer with your company, Backronym. Uh, you worked on a game called Feed, this really beautiful uh, three-on-three fish basketball game kind of thing. Um, and we'll uh, link to it in our show notes. Uh, you also worked on Zero Age on iOS, and you've dabbled in VR a bunch as well. Um, and you started Airplane Mode under the working title of Flight Simulator in 2018 as part of the NYU Incubator program. Uh, and it was picked up by AMC Games uh, to be published on Steam and available now. Is that all correct? Yeah, sounds good. Awesome. Um, and yeah, this is a pretty uh, unique game folks, folks may have read about, uh, a game in which you can take a uh, two-something-hour flight from JFK to Nova Scotia or a five-something-hour flight from JFK to Reykjavik uh, and enjoy the fruits of flying within. But if you don't mind sort of uh, describing the game for us uh, in your words, Hockney, I'd love to hear it from you. Uh, well, it actually started very differently. It wasn't, the idea wasn't to be uh, necessarily just, you know, uh, a simulator. It was more uh, a simulator. I kind of had like this, this problem with flying, you know. Uh, it, it wasn't like a. It was a fear, but sort of the one where I, I still fly, but like I just dread the time being on uh, in the air. And so a week before flying, I'm always like thinking, uh, what is it I'm supposed to do on this plane right now to distract myself from the fact that I'm you know suspended in the air. So I, you know, that's that's kind of this idea of just kind of sitting in a plane and not doing anything and just waiting for something to happen, especially in the context of a video game. That's kind of where it started. This idea of will it build dread? Will it not build dread? And this, uh, it sort of it took off. See, the unlike game. the uh, more going into uh, the English other person, culture. this person totally noticed so that was, I was, was messing with her uh, lights and stuff. Sounds like it was maybe <laughs> like a kind of a therapeutic thing potentially to act to a client. Oh, we already heard this so we don't need to hear it again to recreate that experience um, um, it was more that i have all this because the ways i used to try to okay i do have a blue shirt was, i just like i think i have aviation a lot and like and so i have this, all this useless knowledge in my head or like this little uh, idiosyncrasies of flight and um it became like a, 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 an outlet for all this stuff. I wouldn't say it was therapeutic as much because I think if I was still in, in like I've gone over it since then, but like if I was still super uh, anxious about flying, I don't think I would have been able to sit through the game <laughs> and just work on it and like have to just, you know, have to deal with this, this uh, thing every day in, day out. So yeah. I think I've passed the point where I feel I used it for therapy, but it was definitely an outlet for all of the stuff that I've like, been thinking about or reading up on. So sometimes when I'm working on a piece, uh, like a piece of art, sometimes the inspiration for it comes from having an experience that just feels important or meaningful, and then trying to take that experience and translate what was meaningful about it to other people. It, is that, what, did you feel like that happened with airplane mode? I think like something that I was struck by when I started playing it was how singular the experience is. Like as soon as you get into it, and started, no, you're like, oh, yes, 
this is this is airplane mode. I'm in airplane mode. This I wonder if I have cigarettes with me. I don't think I do. I don't know how I could even like. I think it's really deft of you to sort of like make that realization. This one's also a weird bug. Like your charger will just reappear in the uh, bag, and you also can't put it away. It's just permanently there. But you have uh, right. This is you have sleepy pills. As because I assume they are. I don't know what dex masks like you're you're see. Like there's jet engine fuel um, right you have a book you, uh, you know, against the grains by J.K. Heisman. Heisman. You have a sketchbook. And I got a pen, which I also need because there's an in-flight stuff. It's been the dream, right? That's been the thing for centuries. People want to fly. And now pause this for a moment. And then, uh... Stratosphere, you can actually read in Flight Magazine. There's there's articles and stuff. It looks just like you're in a your actual in Flight Magazine. Uh, but the other thing in here is that you can pretty much draw in the entire magazine if you want to. And then the crossword puzzle! Um, I meant to look some of these up. I don't think I know a lot of them. But if I get anybody on the chat with me, then uh, we can talk about that. I see the overlay doesn't actually work. This. I don't know how to play this one. Kakuo? I think I should learn how to play Kakuro. At least. Baby Tut. I think I should learn. I can do my Sudoku puzzle. Please note that your seat cushion can also be. Actually, I wonder if I put this away, will it reopen to my Sudoku page? It will, yay. Your cabin crew will now be coming around to do a final cabin check. Everyone here at Pan Atlantica is proud to be part of making your flight. Pan Atlantica. If there's anything at all our cabin crew can do to make your flight more enjoyable, it's gonna look over there. Baby tat do 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 baby tat do 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 baby tat do 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 baby tat So yeah, it pauses when I leave uh when I leave the screen, but I I need to make sure that all my stuff is working. That's totally working. Um, I'm gonna make that Cooney code disappear because you guys don't really need it up right now. I'll be changing it and uh, popping up a new one as we go through the flight. Dude. Good night, ladies and gentlemen. No. This is your captain speaking. I want to change it to Imperial. On behalf of myself and the flight crew, it's our distinct pleasure to welcome you on board flight 709 with non-stop service to New York. Flight time today should be Flight time today uh, is 42 around, minutes. Uh, 36,000 feet off the ground and uh, we'll be traveling at about 370 miles per hour. I'll be back in touch if we've got any other updates for you on route. For now, sit back, relax, and enjoy the flight. Oh, that means that Pam can explain what a Cooney code is when I pop it up again. Cooney code? Oh, wait. <laughs> oh, I mean, I could pop it up now. <laughs> Where's the link for the deploy? Oh. Hello, viewers. Would you like to know what a cooney right code is? Oh, wait, what are we, um, you, you, you didn't tell me what the, uh, the Baby Tut, you gotta ask. <laughs> Amy, you gotta ask. <laughs> yeah, yeah, Amy, I need a, a Q. What's a cooney code? A cooney code? If you look in the bottom right of your uh, of the screen, it says CC 
and then followed by a code that you can enter to win. Uh, what are we? What are we raffling off? A twenty dollars Steam gift card. Twenty dollars Steam gift card. That's like, that's like twenty dollars worth of game stuff. The last time that I turned on all the lights, she totally noticed. It's money. I think she only notices I when I mess with her hair. Signs. No? Okay. Oh, look. You have a seat in between you and the other passenger. That's nice. I know. When we were doing... Um, the last time when my phone... Because I had to restart the game because there's a bug where the phone locks out. Um, the last time when I was messing with the with her air and her light, she totally turned and looked at me. <laughs> <laughs> Like, how dare? How very dare you, sir. But, but I have like a podcast that actually, it's a real podcast and it talks about the, the game in the podcast. You can um, mess with armrests, you can go to the restroom, you can be served a meal, uh, you can put on headphones, uh, you can do a crossword puzzle, like it's a, it's hey, a Amy, suite do, of like... Do you have a tut? Because uh, there's a black and white cat that is uh, snuggled on our one of our pieces of furniture in our backyard. Uh, it's holding us. <laughs> Blake, Blake doesn't even mind. My cats He's are not, not territorial at all. That is not smart enough to find your house. Honestly. <laughs> like. I I remember the smell like, of those shoes. Where's Ab? Uh, doesn't even like the outside. <laughs> the outside is evil. Yeah, I don't know. I, I, Yay. I feel like... Now I'm Bluetooth into my thing. Why does so the passenger ahead of me just have their like, movie oh. paused? <laughs> she wants it paused. Well, the passenger next to me also seems to be really excited about her movie just being paused. And I'm like, I don't know if A Trip to the Moon is copyrighted. I don't know if all of these are all copyrighted, so I can't really, like, play them. I know the melodies. But look, I can play solitaire or blackjack. Let me get this straight. Or this I can talk to other passengers. <laughs> this game is, is you uh, being a passenger on a plane, and, and that's it. Pretty much. That is the premise of the game. Wow. Oh, look, we're moving, and I didn't even notice. But more importantly, oh, I to went to off. Canada and I didn't get to like do anything. This is my return flight to the US. <laughs> That's strange. Canada is letting you in. Especially since this game came out during the pandemic. <laughs> yeah, but I'm pretty sure the purpose is to make, make people feel like all right with not being able to travel. Also, they should be fully aware of the fact that I just have my bag out <laughs> next to me. When it should be stowed underneath. I want to know what this button is. I think it's the call button for the flight attendant, mm -hmm. but it doesn't do anything. Um, yeah, it doesn't do anything if I pull it, so I don't know. I mean, usually the call button is up there with the fan, but it's not so. Well, I see the call light up here for, like, that one, but I don't know where the button no, is. I don't think I can call the actual flight attendant. I guess it's a two-hour flight from Halifax to Nova Scotia. Or, I mean, from Nova Scotia to... You do know that means I can raid your trash now. Thanks, Thanks for, for the follow. Yes. From Stream Elements. All we need is the flight, the, the captain to interrupt again to tell us what place in line we are for takeoff. 
Did they go over the safety guidelines? They did. I was not paying attention to them. I was listening to a podcast. Uh, oh, so it's just like a regular flight. Well, I do listen yeah. to them on regular flights. It's just that I had to restart yeah. this game. I the one that I'm going to miss is uh, Virgin America's <laughs> uh, dance thing with uh, Todd Recall, though. Sometimes listen to them, especially if they're one of the one, the southwest ones. That's a little song. I feel like I'm forgetting somebody's accessories. I even cut out the little mini, little mini Among Us character for for Rebel Queens. I don't know why it bothers me so much that everyone else is just really content watching the credits. I like credits. <laughs> well, they're, they're not even, like, playing, though. They're just stuck on opening screen credits for things. <laughs> There's a spider on the outside of my window. <laughs> and like it weirded out Xander because it's set in France. But everybody has a British accent. Except <laughs> Kirsten Dunst, who just kept her American accent Cabin for the remote. <laughs> wow. That's some So is that window the window so to really? the person ahead of me? Because I think I just closed her window. Oh. Closing people other's window other people's windows too? Shame on you. Well, just like I keep messing with my neighbor's air. So, we're taking off. So, we're taking off. Because he puts it up when he wants to put it up. Why does the Cooney code not up? <laughs> well, I also need to update it. How long have I been on my sleep? <laughs> um, are you still landing okay, or I'll, are you... I'll update it soon it and I'm still, still streaming. Yay, we've taken off. Very bumpy takeoff. Okay, I guess we're good now. Ooh, look, a tall building. Or is it a stack of some sort? I laughed during tur turbulence. We had really bad turbulence on one of our flights. Uh, it was with Ebony. We were coming back from somewhere. <laughs> I think it was visiting uh, Marielle. We had really bad turbulence on that one. The hell are you looking at, woman? Your phone? Did I put my phone in airplane mode? <laughs> I did. I did put my phone in airplane mode. I'm gonna do the little Robocoon ears. 
All I have to do is fill everything in with yarn now, because I already cut out all the little pieces. And then I have the extra, okay, so extra baby blue uh, one that I don't know what to do with. Maybe I can keep it as my sample. What? The baby blue colored Among Us character that I accidentally made. Maybe, maybe, maybe we can help me with the crossword puzzle. <laughs> From the West Tribune. Ooh, crossword puzzle. Let's see. Hold What's on, I have to go find... Cross? I have to go get my pen. <laughs> you have interesting legs. <laughs> uh, no. I got black pants, I think, and a blue shirt. I think I actually have this yeah. blue shirt. <laughs> I mean, your outfit looks very, like... You, you, you knew you were going to travel. I like how I don't Very have good arms. Travel. You like how you don't have arms? I you can't know. see them. I don't think I have arms. <laughs> well, you know. Um, Take, Take your meds. meds. From <laughs> baby <laughs> underscore time. Oh, Fine, I will take my meds. <laughs> Well, will taking the meds make it so that he has arms again? Yeah. <laughs> I don't know Hi, what Blake. those meds are. <laughs> I love you. I'm sorry, there's no blankets on the bed. I'm washing them. A historic Central Asian oh, nomad. I love it when I wash the blankets and just confuse Tut, and then he just sits on the bed all solid. Well, I don't wash their blanket. Like, they have their own little blanket on the side of the bed. And I don't wash that because they don't recommend you washing their blanket as that often because they like to have their own scent on it. Well, yeah. The first but internet it's... message, could that have been high? Because there's only two spaces for it. H, like, H-I, maybe it was high? You go to your bed! <laughs> An American city that God forgot. Wow, that's depressing sounding. Is it Detroit? <laughs> <laughs> Five letters. How many letters is it? Two down. Five. Two down starting with U. <laughs> if it's U. I don't know if the Hun is correct for the historic Central Asian nomad. Sounds right. But I don't know of any... Uh, Five letter cities that become with you. <sighs> Made of bronze and a sculpture in Cambridge, UK. The world's shallowest ocean. That I can... This one, it, I don't know if it can be Indian or it can be Arctic because that they both, they both fit in that space. <laughs> I don't like this crossword because it's got too many questions that have to do with geography. It's Utica. Well, it's because it's a plain one. Test your geography, history, and general knowledge with Unica? this issues of travel. U N I C A. U T I C A. Utica. Utica. Utica, New York. Good job. Now, what's the across with the T? A treeless biome. Is that a tundra? Treeless tundra, yeah. Okay, tundra. Ooh, look at us. I more hate that I have to write this in physically. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. They should make it so you should be, you could type it in, but then it wouldn't be uh, realistic. Let's see. Um, what oh, is Oh, we've got turbulence. Blank I. <laughs> what is that? What that is? Um, what number is that? Sixteen across. Hello. One million years? No, I can't be right. Blank I. Is that sixteen across? You have to distract yourself from the turbulence by playing your crossword.
Oh, that's a lot better. I, I, I turned my phone sideways. All of a sudden, I can see the numbers better now. No way. No way. populated city in 1721 and remains so. Uh, uh, blank, D blank. Um, nope, I got nothing. Yeah, I got a phone call. Let me update the Cooney code. <laughs> Cooney code! Which is also going to pause the game while I switch to that screen. But yeah. Cooney code. The hell is a Cooney code? David. Maybe. Can number six down possibly be David? Uh, what is number six down? It could be. Oh, I know. Don't put it in there yet. Well, I only have pen, so I guess I'll put in a D and then... <laughs> <laughs> It'll be <laughs> da. Oh no! But you can't erase! Oh, I know. But there's a new Cooney code on screen, I think. Oh. If you're just now joining us, you have the opportunity to win a $20 gift card for Steam. All you have to do is plug in that little code that's in the right bottom corner of your screen into um but where are we plugging this in at? you can enter the raffle for the steam gift card at um it's on robocooney no it's on uh twi twitter.com slash robocooney yeah Which I don't know. World's seen that shallowest thing. ocean. See, the only things that fit here is Arctic or Indian. And I don't know. Because the Indian's in the middle of the Atlantic, right? So I'm thinking Arctic, maybe? What number are we looking at? Oh, the, the shallowest. Can I get 12 across? Oh, that's the. Uh, the airport code for Franz, uh, Franz Joseph Strauss. Airport. It's the ground floor of the U.S. Capitol building the house. Uh, can't I ask more pop culture questions? You do know that means I can raid your trash now. Thanks for following GoldenEye64 from Stream Elements. Yay, we have a new follower. Yay. Welcome, new follower. That's why we're at an awkward angle. Yeah. Okay, so somebody's vacuuming and there's a party. Yay. A loud vacuum if I can hear it. They're vacuuming outside. Uh, 
Okay, yeah, the new Cooney code is on screen. Yay! Uh, the bathroom's in use, or else we can go to the bathroom. It'd be cool if I could stand up to use, like, the overhead bin for something. I'm pointing, pointing my pen coming. at you. A Cuban musical instrument that's very French. A horn. I think 18 down is Boeing, but it might be Airbus. I hate that they both fit there. <laughs> that depends. What's 18 across? Boeing, I don't know, 18 across. Swiss Bundestat? Swiss Bundestat. I don't know what that means. 22? A large hill with over 19 million inhabitants. Prankster from Brazilian folklore, but Brazilian is spelled wrong. <laughs> Brazilian, wouldn't that be a non? I don't know it. Hello. Where's a nonzi from? Brazilian. That's supposed to be thirty-five across. Let me see 35 across. What folklore is Anansi from? Anansi the spider? What? Anansi. Have you never heard of Anansi? No. It's a, like a prankster spider thing. Okay. But I don't know what where 35 across is. I feel like it's after the Anansi doesn't fit in 25 across. That's true. I heard across and I was like, there is no 35. 25. <laughs> I'm in 25. Who the hell is still in the bathroom? God damn it. <laughs> <laughs> they really it. had to go. Ooh, this pretty. is weird. That it's like fogging around the, the air hole. Oh, which I've never seen it. in a real flight. I, I think I'd be worried if that was the thing. Stephanie stole Xander's side of the bed again. Mm -hmm. It's not Xander's side but of the bed anymore. Spinning, you know. She did at some point last night pass out in between us. Are we now reading a book? I wanted to. I wanted to see what the book. I wanted to see what the book was about. <laughs> Headphones came off, they're back in the bag. <laughs> yep, there. <laughs> no book. No, not waste bag.
Are you are you going to throw up? Are you throwing something away? Are I you hyper guess. I, I I don't I don't know if I threw up, I guess I did. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what 20 across is. Oh, it's also the IATA code for one of the airports. Hazrat Shad. Hello? What is this? AD? Where is AD fitting? 24 across. That's if this is Boeing. <laughs> AD should be Oh, uh, we don't know. Go ahead David, and put but I just wanted to put it in since David. we already started with duh. <laughs> I'm gonna make that Cooney code go away and then I'll bring it back for a new one in like a couple minutes. The world's most populated city. That's a modern day Shiba. Would that be a kitty? <laughs> I don't think that's what they mean. Nah, I know. A U.S. insular area. Number 27 is COD. Which one? 27 across or down? Down. There's also and two 27s. Cape and a fish. Cape and a fish. That would be COD. Oh, yeah. Cape, COD, and COD. Let's see, there's a 27 home of this CO, CO sepal and a cape and a fish. Oh. Ancient city that was once coastal but is now inland. 29 mm. down. It's only two letters. <laughs> <laughs> there's a lot of them that are only two letters, and I'm like, what? I don't know. How do you know if you got these right? Will it tell you? No. Doubtful. I think it's just for funsies. Oh, looks like I might go into a meeting again. Enjoy the flight. Ladies and gentlemen, 
Ladies and gentlemen, the captain has turned off the fasten seatbelt sign, indicating we've reached our cruising altitude. Where you are, are now you? free to move about the cabin, but we ask that while in your seat, you keep your seatbelt fastened. At this time, the use of all approved portable electronic devices he has is needed. permitted. Oh, I missed that. I'm alternating between watching the stream, watching my movie, and still reading about Marie Antoinette. <laughs> Nerd. What movie are you watching? And I need what I should be doing is crochet. Mm-hmm. I'm going between stream catching up on YouTube bits. And eating Hershey kisses. Mm. <laughs> and yes. um Mm hmm And I should be finishing my plastic campus things so I can send them out tomorrow and Tuesday. My cookies are only a week old. I think Colleen and I went last Yeah, it's been a week. But now I'm starting to get a little cold. And my blanket chair in the dryer. Right. And they might be there a while because the one blanket is really big and it takes a little while for it to dry. I should get backup blankets. And when my blankets are in the dryer. Or in the laundry. Whatever. Actually, I should also be reading my, um, Let It Snow for my annual readings. I think. I need to refill my pills later. Yeah, well, I got denied for my refills, which is really annoying. Oh, I have to plan out having an extra pill in my system for... Christmas Eve and Christmas Day. <laughs> that would probably be a good idea. Considering. Yeah. Yeah, I just have meetings. <laughs> Oh no, do you see? I took the pill and it's making me go all weird. What pill? Uh, in the game. Because <laughs> you said to take my meds. I met in real life. I took my real life ones, but look at the game okay. one. It's making me sleepy. I was just making sure. But look, all the words are going weird. <laughs> I'd like to make sure that you take your meds. On days you don't. The, the, the edges are getting fuzzy. So what, what medication did you take in the game? <laughs> I think it was a sleepy pill. Good nap nap. <laughs> Everything's all like. Everything's fuzzy. all weird and I'm getting all <laughs> out of focus. <laughs> oh no. This is no, very similar I'm to gonna how miss my when snack. I, when I start falling asleep while I'm trying to do stuff. I, yeah, I'm uh, Oh no. I've learned very early on, but I, I haven't really learned my lesson about not uh, doing plastic canvas and, and falling asleep. It makes for some shoddy uh, craftsmanship. What do you mean about not doing it while you fall asleep? Wait, if I'm asleep now, does that mean that I get to dream or is it much? <laughs> it depends. Does uh, what what kind of medication? If you took the medication that makes you go into REM cycle, you should be able to dream. Oh no! But they just announced that the snacks are coming. <laughs> oh no! You're falling asleep, but you're not going to get any snacks. Well, the eyes already closed, so. Ah. <laughs> oh. It's not like you can wake yourself up in game. If I can, I don't know how. <laughs> 
That would be helpful. Oh. That's Woken like up. me when I'm starting to fall asleep on the on the plane and they just announce that they're going to be doing drinks. Oh, did I miss a drink service? Fucking uh, Why no didn't way. it wake me? How long is this flight? <laughs> Two hours. I prefer the when they wake me up for the uh, but they don't usually. I have to I have to try to stay awake for service. Will we have have flights again? There are still flights. They don't have drink service on the flights because of the... No, well, okay, so I flew southwest all summer every That's time I That's what I flew. usually fly? Okay. And the first... It depended on the flight. You either got a can, like an aluminum can of water, and a snack, little snack bag thingy, mm -hmm. or on our flight up to um, uh, Portland, we got a cup of ice water. So <laughs> I mean, usually the cup of ice water still comes from a can. They just don't necessarily give yeah, you the full can. Just, when I was flying out to Wisconsin, I got... Just a can. Oh, they're collecting <laughs> trash. Oh. No, you that still have drinks on got, the drink cart. <laughs> and then you just got the little snack bag that has like the cheese its and pretzels and little brown crunchy things, whatever they're called. I like the airplane cookies. Which I I think in this game they only give Andrew pretzels. doesn't like those, so he gave me all his extra and then I gave him my cheese its and it worked Hello? out perfectly. Excuse me. I don't think they do a second had, drink service. And then we had extra because Southwest Not on a two-hour like, flight. Southwest was like, you need two flights to get from Burbank to Portland, which makes zero sense, but whatever. Hello. Yeah, because then you have to go around to a different place that is not near Portland. You, you have to go... Leave. You have to go to Vegas, and then from Vegas you go to Portland. No, we lay we <laughs> over in um, Sacramento. And had, like... The worst overpriced food. Yeah, that's that's how airplanes work. No, I mean like in the airport. Yeah, Hello? that's how airports work. Excuse me. So I've had decent meals that were like okay, still overpriced, but this was not even worth like half of what we paid. It's just stupid. Any trash? Oh, uh, we're almost there. I slept for a good portion of the flight then. <laughs> Aww, that's what I do. I miss Disneyland churros. Aww. I'm lifting this Overpriced belt buckle. $4 to your churro. I get one every single time. There was one time we went during WonderCon, and it was when they were celebrating, like, Pirates or the New Orleans Square or something, but they had gold-dusted churros. And I think we were only there for like three hours and I bought three churros. <laughs> Look, we're in the potty. <laughs> Thought you were landing soon. I don't know, I was messing with things. Yeah, shouldn't you wash your hands and then do the soap? What's going on here? Wait, you don't have any hands, Lee. How do you I don't have any bathroom? arms. <laughs> oh my god. Not drinking water. No? Okay. Scientists. Facial tissue. I'll go pee. For the stream. <laughs> is that a vent? What is that? Button? I think it's a smoke detector. <laughs> this bathroom looks way more spacious than most most airplane bathrooms that I've seen. Oh look, it's a uh, changing table. Facial tissue. Put it in the thing. Oh, yeah, there.
Yeah. Oh, why are the lights out? Are we landing? Yep. Yeah, or something. I don't know. The lights went out. But, yeah. I don't think we're landing. It's just the lights went out. showed you Amy cost me like a dollar fifty. One that you got at Michael's? Yeah, because I also had a twenty percent off. So the Cooney code item. is up again. <laughs> Cooney code. Amy, what's a Cooney code? I don't know what is a Cooney code, Pam. <laughs> I like that my pen's like blue and purple. If you're just now joining us, there is a code in the bottom right hand of your screen called the Cooney Code, which allows you to enter the raffle to win a $20 gift card to Steam. Look, it's my kitty. So many games, so little time. <laughs> what are you doing? Oh, you it's my kitty. And everything. <laughs> That's amusing. I just have a, a phone full of cats. <laughs> I think she just like bothered all night because I woke up to him whining to being let out of the room and now she's just conked out. And we tried to lock Pumpkin in here with him, but he decided to pee on something again, so. I yeah, don't well, remember taking being... this photo, but this might have been the photo that I took on the way to Halifax. <laughs> um, if he's being territorial, uh, then you lock him in a room with two other cats in a room that he thinks that his is is his. It kind of makes sense. Because because oh, clearly I only be... took a photo in New York and then a photo in D.C. And the rest are all cat photos. He's being, he's being okay. He's not squatting. He's not hissing, and he's fine in the bedroom with them as long as the door's open. But if we go to bed and close the door, then he's all. I mean, unless there's another reason for him marking, but that's the only one I can come up with. I just, I want to take both boys to the vet. So. I mean, taking him to the vet isn't going to make him stop marking. Unless he's marking because he's having some sort of old man arthritis issues and he's not using the litter box. That's what I'm worried about. Has he been pooping? I mean, I'll have to check next time he goes in the litter box. They all poop in the same Woo! I, don't know. I have 800 pioneer points. Pioneer points? What are those? 
I guess my airline points. <laughs> my oh. frequent flyer points for Pan Atlantica. <laughs> frequent flyer. Oh. Neighbors' kids are noisy. Tell them to stop. Uh, it's Sunday. Specifically, the Sunday before Christmas. That's not gonna happen. There were so many fireworks over here last night. Now, all I heard was music over here. We didn't really have any fan art that we could put on all this merch. You could redesign the Imagine the World's logo. Maybe or our create art ran inspired out of their by your fireworks favorite episode. Back in the day. Send your submissions to contact at imaginaryworldspodcast.org. We will pick our favorites and announce the winners on social media. Am I hearing stories? Very excited to see what you come up with. I mean, I'm listening to a podcast. <laughs> <laughs> You're listening to Imaginary Worlds. Amy, do you have a show about how we create them and why we suspend our disbelief. I'm Eric Malinsky. There's a scene that I keep thinking about from the yeah, end of the show. And if you haven't seen it, like, tell her, then spoilers ahead. Because like, I'm going to talk about the ending. Now, the premise of the movie is that in the future, we can't grow food on the Earth anymore. But no one's sure why. So a group of astronauts, led by Matthew McConaughey, blast off. Welcome back to Tear of the Duck. I'm your host, Stacey Mallard. It's June 23rd. That's what I'm hearing right now. I'm hearing vacuum cleaner. It's just the newest, most tiny, grinding, grooviest electronic and environmental music. Oh, oh, oh. Focus on generative I would think it affects the world. You know, our era of feeds, big data, and recommendations. It might seem like technology and music have become inseparable, but using rules to create music is hardly new. Back in the 18th century, composers used to study. You should have my cats when I got cheese out earlier. You can make an argument that even musical canons, utilized by old Johann Sebastian Bach, should be viewed as a form of algorithmic music. Oh, I wonder if I can draw on this. It's quite that ancient today, and of course, Composers have infinitely more sophisticated tools at their disposal. No, it's laminated. Several pieces by composer Lisa Webb, who, by the way, has a great new frown upon you, you stooling on there uh, on our YouTube. This is a release on Colophon tapes, which I believe was think on a Eurorack new process. The one about the uh, shallowest whatever is art. I think it's Arctic. That makes sense. Which which one was the other? Well, Indian the other is guess? the only other one that fits there. So. Yeah, I don't think the Indian Ocean is that shallow. It makes no, sense because it's be... connected to the Atlantic. Yeah. <laughs> what's a uh, whatever across like like sea? First country with nationwide elections. We don't know if David is correct here, but. <laughs> Twenty-seven across. Country, country with railways and so can loop the planet twice. China. listening to. <laughs> Ear of the Duck. It's supposed to be a podcast. You're a podcast. We should make a podcast. What we need to do is uh, the thing with T for Geeks. <laughs> We'll listen to Intelligame Radio. 
Hello, everyone, and welcome back to a special edition of IntelliGame Radio. I'm your host, Josh Boykin, the founder of IntelliGame Radio. I use my bark bag. A culture criticism site where we make connections between games and the world around us. You're tuning into our special series, What's Your IntelliGame, where we learn about somebody in the game industry by talking about a game that's important to them. But of course, none of this would be possible. Look, it'll just country. float in space Pan there. <laughs> With destinations all over the world, Pan Atlantic Airlines. It's just used. It's just going to float in space. Right metal there. box flying through the sky at hundreds of miles an hour. Pan- I don't know how to call the flight attendant. Can I take it with me to the bathroom? The flight meal is slightly above average. Now, our guest for today's show is an IntelliGame regular. Jenny Wyndham, or Kim Chica, is a Twitch streamer, an indie game critic. I don't have it with me. (laughs) And also the IntelliGame Club curator. So you've definitely seen her around IntelliGame spaces before. Today, we're going to have a conversation about a game that's really speaking to her in this particular moment. Even though it's It's still floating there. There is a sort of timelessness to the game that she selected. For any feedback you may have, you can send that to podcast at intelligame.us. Let's go ahead and get started. Hey, flight attendant lady, you can take this. Jenny Wyndham, welcome to uh, Intelligent. Can you take Special. that? How are you doing today? I am doing pretty good. I'm just I excited have trash. To, tonight. I'm going to be playing lots of video games, so... I'm excited for that. <laughs> <laughs> it's kind of nice to Take be able to have that opportunity to, uh, to spend some, some took my time. time with a game that you can dig into. Mm-hmm. So we have just one question. What is your IntelliGame? What is a game that changes the way that you think about games? Oh, gosh. You know, it's funny because beforehand you asked me if I had my game, and then you're like, and then you asked the question, and all, so many what? things run through my head. So that's it's rough. But I'm not going to make things even harder on myself. Uh, I'd like to caveat this with my Intelli game. I feel like changes a little bit every time I've I've thought about this question. I should change the Cooney code again. I'm just one of these textual players, right? Different games for different moods. Playing these real life people and like my brain being confused about is that that person or that person? It's also weird because it's set in like 2015 and 2016 when Trump was still being voted in. time of the year phases there the i updated the cooney code all that kind of thing. <laughs> sure. so, thank you right for following morbury 22 from a little whole stream element i think it's published and developed actually cooney code a dev named laura shigihara and she is uh really amazing she's actually responsible for the music we're just gonna do the crossword screen, puzzle again uh, which is another indie game that holds a lot of emotion and heart for me, uh, as well as some maybe more like commercial titles like Plants vs. Oh, there it is.
this flight is so quiet. What if I took my sleeping pills right as the plane was about to land? <laughs> One million years. I feel like that would be an eon or an aeon, but it's only IA. Well, it's two letters. One million dollars. Thirteen across. A genuine and German in a village in Scotland. Did I lose you kids, or did you go on mute? <laughs> I'm here. I'm on push to talk. Well, so am I. Uh, Pam can't do push to talk, so... I think Pam's on mute. Yeah, because Pam's on her phone, so she can't... Push to talk on mobile is stupid. Yeah, it is. Swiss Bundestag. I know Stadt is city. It might be state. Which one are we looking at? Uh, 18 across. I can't. It's with something. I can't read that. It's Bundestag. B U N D E S S T A D T. Down. The oldest continuous democracy in Asia. <sighs> West African capital city on the Gulf of Guinea. 23? It's not Ghana. Could be gone if this is wrong. Oh no, we have turbulence. We are now making our final approach. Please take this time to double check your seatbelt and ensure it is indeed securely fastened. Flight attendants will be passing around the cabin one final time to make a compliance check and pick up any remaining. Oh my god. Oh no, the audio is weird. I think it's my ears. They're ringing and everything sounds muddy. Oh, they must be. Oh, God. What? You know when your ears get clogged up as you're descending? Oh, um, yes. Like, it's making me do the motion to pop my ears, even though I'm not really. <laughs> Oh, how do I fix this for him? There may be something in my bag.
Now I can't hear. I can hear again. Cooney code left. Nice. Only one more today. Well, I only made five, and one of them is only available to the Discord.
bothers me that all of the passengers, except for that middle seat over there, spent the flight just looking at credits. <laughs> in the cabin again. haciendo no puedo ahorita estoy trabajando por el rato playing solitaire before we land because <laughs> I finally figured out how to get the remote to come out of this thing but I still need to figure out how to make it flip to the keyboard side
Are you looking out the window? You can't look out my window. I'm gonna close this line. Now you can't look out the window. Okay, now I guess we're about to land, but we're still over freaking water. Is that water or land? I hope that's land. Settings, and I don't change it. I like that you can start to hear zippers like as soon as you land. So, so you're riding a plane from JFK to something. Well, I did JFK to Halifax last you're night. And today is Halifax back to JFK, so we're in JFK now. Cellular phones may be used now. Can you get up to use the bathroom as well? Already did. Yep. Wow. You can also tamper with stuff. <laughs> like, like go in the cockpit and tamper with stuff, or? Like, there's an achievement for tampering with the uh, smoke detector in the bathroom. <laughs> nice. But right, I figure well, I would have to figure out how to bring my pen with me or something, maybe. <laughs> well, I, I figured I'd put this on while I'm working on some homework. Um, I have no service. And you've got a, you said you've got your Twitch stream running? Yeah. Headphones are connected, aren't they in my bag? They are in my bag. Ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to Kennedy International. Oh man, the way sit next to you. Lucky. <laughs> Local time, 8.15. Yes, there's the game credits. Time 815 and we've gotten to on behalf of myself JFK. and the rest of our hardware and crew would like to thank you for choosing Pan Atlantic on your trip today. We know you have a choice of carriers and we appreciate you choosing Pan Atlantic today. We'd love to see you on board again soon. In the meantime, have a wonderful stay. Interact with the passengers? Not yet. I got a reaction out of her for messing with her lights once. <laughs> mm -hmm. <There> <laughs> <laughs> right, that was funny. <laughs> oh, I'm reclined while we're on the taxiway. Ooh. Oh no! <laughs> Can't prove it, but it's got like real uh, podcasts too on the phone. Also, hello everybody. Sorry, I didn't say hi. I got I got distracted. You got what? I said I got distracted with uh, just watching the, the um, plane. <laughs> so just say hi. Oh, all the so, kitties have anyway. names. They're actual people's kitties. Oh. Because, look, if you go through the photos on his phone, it's all cats. So I guess these are all the developer's cats. Mm -hmm. And does that say The Walking Dead, Little Walkie? Uh, TWD? Yeah, because it's uh, the games made by AMC. Ah, okay. So you get a little, a little walkie. <laughs> Don't 
exactly know what to do with him. Thank you for flying with us. Well, do I just end the game or does it let me off? <laughs> but I don't want to live in Pan Atlantica in coach. I don't even know where in coach I am. <laughs> Looks like Qantas. It almost looks like Qantas' logo, but it's not quite. Oh, is there nothing on our screens anymore? For a while there, Pam and I and Amy were working on the crossword puzzle. I have all three cat in the room. Yay! I think because here's the crossword puzzle. City that God forgot. We didn't get too far, but we got further than I did when I was playing by myself yesterday. Endangered Vanuatuan language? Ooh, Switzerland's top domain. Is that SZ for Switzerland? across it then this might not be Boeing but if it's not Boeing then how do we get these other answers <laughs> My character fell asleep on the plane. You saw that. <laughs> With those sleeping pills I took when Amy was like, Take what your pills! What the is that? I have a weird puzzle. But it's this puzzle that has all these uh, fractions. Yeah, the Kakaru? I'm like, I've I don't understand that. that one. I'd like to play on it, but I don't know how it works. <laughs> and I'm wondering if I can mm. infer how it works from yesterday's solution, or the last issue's solution. I need my pen. 
gonna sit on the friggin' tarmac waiting to get to the gate, and I'm gonna work on Sudoku. Or the crossword puzzle if we know more answers. <laughs> Because they turned off the entertainment system, so I can't mess with solitaire. <sighs> the objective of the puzzle is to insert a digit from 1 to 9 inclusive into each white cell such that the sum of the numbers in each entry matches the clue associated with it and that no digit is duplicated in any entry. So it's like Sudoku but harder. <laughs> oh, that's, that's what it sounds like. Five, five, ten. Oh, okay, I get it. That's okay. You can so much. So if we look at like the answer at the bottom for just the row that says, uh, like the second row from the right, um, where the 10 is, all yeah. of those numbers below it add up to 10. And uh, then where it says 3, all the numbers next to it add up to 3. And then they don't repeat in the, uh, uh. row or column. Yeah, I was looking, I was looking at the, an easy puzzle and I was like, is it? Is it easy? I don't like anything that did, has to do with math, so... <laughs> and those ones, I don't know how you would be able to do with a pen, either. Well, that's the only thing that's in my bag. If I had a pencil, I know. maybe. <laughs> but, like, Sudoku, that's just... I, like, I can't do Sudoku without a pencil, either, and I don't like Sudoku. I can do Sudoku because it's we used to do them in school, so it was never like a big thing to me until we knew what it was actually called. But this adds up to six going down and six across to But this adds up to like thirty-two. <laughs> Nice of them to have a uh, word and. Well, wait a minute. Do they have a uh, word search? Those are the only three puzzles you have are the two math ones and then the. I think, yeah, puzzle. I have Sudoku. They should have word Then searches. I have an article on Beirut. <laughs> and then I have. No one wants to go to Beirut. The crossword puzzle and. You haven't gotten any farther in crossword puzzle. Then I have the Where is Your Stratosphere magazine. I see. Where'd you put one? Although somebody else, yeah. and I think from a previous flight, wrote in this magazine. How rude. There's like something over here. And now I have to go something And there it says hella hella ho. Ooh. Oh, is that the article about Beirut? Yeah. The manouche is also considered street food pie. in-flight movies. <laughs> All the places that Pan Atlantica, Atlantica flies to. Mars! Mars article. <laughs> the article. Do you 
gonna do, baby? Hmm? Do you get a new magazine for every flight? No, because this is the magazine I had in the last flight, but maybe I'll get a different one for the, uh, the larger flight, the six hour one. That'd be nice. I don't know if I want to attempt the six hour one, I probably do. Look, you know how to do a workout. Isn't that nice? Uh, it's a pun ad. <laughs> yes. It worked out. They could at least play holiday music. They're gonna have parties. That's how I feel right now. Yeah, well. Meeting again, yay! Whoop. My towels are still drying, and I'm cold. I mean, my blankets. My blankets are still drying. I think that was the entire flight thing. Yeah, because it's JFK to Halifax. And then the long flight is JFK to, I think, uh, Kiev? I have to look up what KEF is. But I'm not doing the long flight yet. It's five hours and 45 minutes. <laughs> I don't know if I'd be ready for five hours and 45 minutes. <laughs> That's a KEF is Icelandic. Oh, nice. Kavlavik. I'd love to go to Iceland, but not on, um, <laughs> not in coach. <laughs> <laughs> You're like, I want first class. But I think that if I do, uh, that one, I might be able to figure out how to tamper with other stuff and get that all going. Oh no, my stream got disconnected 20 minutes ago. Good well, thing I didn't also. make the announcement. I was going to be like, Cooney Coat! And then I was like, oh. That worked. 
Okay, well, it looks least. like I'm still on the stream, so I think it reconnected, but I don't know at what point it disconnected. Oh. So, well, I know it disconnected 20 minutes ago, but <laughs> I don't know at what point uh, in the game it disconnected. So. Anywho, that was airplane mode. I guess we're done, and maybe one of these days, if you guys really want to see it, I'll do the five and a half, five hour and forty five minute flight. Because <laughs> yeah. I do want to do it, but um, I, I don't know how I would mentally prepare for that. If you guys aren't on stream with me, that's just going to be like long and tedious and. <laughs> And good luck to everyone. I uh, did the Cooney code stuff, and uh, I have like half of the entries right now. <laughs> <laughs> and we'll see. Cooney code, good code. We'll see who wins a twenty dollar gift card to Fashion. I mean, Steam. <laughs> hey, <sure. laughs> I have to feed my cat. And then I guess, depending on how work goes, we might join me again tonight for maybe some sort of group game or like Jackbox or whatever is going on. Because <laughs> yeah. I don't know what time I'm off tonight, but I'm hoping it's not late, late, late night. <laughs>